The Fry Geek Show is back today with a review on Marvel's Eternals. Now, this is the latest Marvel movie. Well, Spider-Man No Way Home is coming up next week, but this is the latest Marvel movie. Marvel's Eternals, directed by Chloe Zhao, who just won an Oscar for Normaland. And she... She's also the first full, like... Okay, Captain Marvel had a female director, but it's co-directed by a man, but... She she's Chloe Zhao is also the head writer of the Eternals, so there are a lot of expectations because, first of all, she's a critically acclaimed director and she's directing a Marvel movie. In fact, she was the one who personally pitched this, pitched this idea to Kevin Feige, and there's a lot of expectations. There's a diverse casts, and um, it's also highly like the cast is has high praise. Or like they have good resumes and um, I must say the Eternals is pretty good um, it didn't get the best critical reception but I personally really enjoyed the movie um, the visuals look great the acting was solid the story was pretty good at first I wasn't the most aware of the story but the second viewing I got it a lot more and I really did like the characters and I love their chemistry with each other. They were basically one big family, and I like that dynamic. The powers are showcased really well, and you can tell how each member of the team serves its own purpose. Because, yeah, like, say, Icarus is powerful, but you can't really have the complete roster without Cersei or Gilgamesh or Druig and... Um, I like that. I like how they're like obviously the powerhouses we are Icarus, Gilgamesh, Kingo, Makari, Tina, and we have the more like who use their minds like Fastos, um, Sprite, Cersei, Druig. Like there's a balance and there's Ajax as well. There's a balance between the two and I like how it doesn't mean you're automatically the powerhouse. It means you're the better battler. And they work really well. There's a bit of exposition here in Eternals, but I liked it. It was interesting going to the more cosmic side of the Marvel Universe. And it is not as comedy-based as the others, which is a positive on this end because this movie doesn't really need like jokes all the time. But there are still a lot of jokes especially with Kingo's cameraman or assistant Karun and the jokes do mostly land I was really entertained by Eternals and the action scenes were pretty fun to watch and I do recommend Eternals it's a good movie not the best but I was highly entertained and I'm glad to be able to see movies in the cinema again and it was Onward was the last one I watched, and uh, yeah, I really missed it. So yeah. so yeah, I recommend The Eternals. And this is going on Disney Plus January 10th, so you would most people would be able to watch it by then. So that was The Eternals. What do you think about it? If you do like this video, like, comment, subscribe. And next time, The Fry Geek Show, we might be taking a look at the Gardens of the Galaxy game. So see you guys then.